Hey guys, it's Jenna. All right, so last week I showed you guys how to make a foil washi look uh, in Photoshop for your digital planners. Now, I understand that a lot of us who do digital planning don't necessarily use um, any other apps than what you have on your tablet. So I was like, okay, so how can I recreate this look in Procreate, which I know a lot of us use? Um, and I think I found a pretty decent solution. So um, it's not gonna give exactly the same effect, but it's pretty darn close. So let's jump into it. Um, I'm gonna be doing this on my iPad mini five. I have the first generation Apple Pencil, um, but you can do this on any device that will support Procreate. So what you wanna do is just open up a new document. You wanna have a blank background, and then you're gonna select um, a light color and a darker color. You want there to be a pretty decent um, range, like a really light and a really dark. So first you wanna have your light color selected. So I'm just gonna select uh, this light blue here. And then you're just gonna drag and drop to fill in your background. Now you can make this background any size that you want to. Um, I tend to make mine a little bit bigger so that if I wanna use it like as a background for a planner spread, it's not gonna look all pixely when I go to stretch it out. But you can do this any size you want. So then you're gonna tap on your color thing and select your darker color. Now remember, light lights, dark darks is what's gonna make this look good. So then you're gonna go to your brush tool, you're gonna go to elements, and then you're gonna select clouds. Now I like to use uh, full opacity and I like to have um, about, I'm like showing you, hello, it's right here. Um, I like to have it just, just under full size. So then you're just gonna drag your brush over the canvas and you don't wanna fill, I'm gonna show you what not to do. You don't wanna do this because now you can't see any difference. So you wanna have pretty decent coverage, but you wanna still be able to see the light through the, uh, the dark clouds. You can do a little bit darker by pushing harder with your pencil. So that's perfect. So now you wanna go back to your brushes and this time you're gonna go to touch ups and select the noise brush. And this one, I just keep fully, um, full size, 100% and 100% opacity. And then you're just gonna brush this over the top and you're still using the darker color. So just like this, and you can see it's all kinds of grainy and crazy now. So now what you wanna do is you wanna select your adjustment brush thing. You're gonna select the Gaussian blur and you can slide to adjust this. I usually like to do this at around 16-ish, between 14 and 18 usually. So it gives it like a really smoothed out look. If you go too far, it's just gonna be that one solid color and you don't want that. So we'll probably go to maybe about 15. And then for the last step, you're gonna take your color and go to white. Uh, I don't care what your light color is, this time you want white. So you're gonna go back to your brushes and this time you're gonna go to texture and you want this half tone brush. Now, don't go in on this one with a heavy hand because if you go too heavy, it looks just like that. But if you go at this lightly, it's gonna give that foiled look. Now, I definitely would suggest doing this step on its own layer so that you can adjust its opacity. But then you just paint over it just like this. Some places press a little harder, some places a little lighter so that you have that tonal kind of a look. And then you can go back to your adjustment panel, opacity, and lower it down as you need to. So now you go back to your layers, merge those two, and you can just tap copy and this is how we're going to test it without saving go into your planner and then i'm going to just make sure i have this tool selected here i'm going to long press and i'm going to hit paste and now i can adjust it i can crop it and if you look it gives a pretty legit foiled look I mean, it's not perfect. I will say the Photoshop one does look more realistic, but for those 
of you who either don't have access to Photoshop or are not very comfortable or versed in Photoshop, this is a pretty good solution. And I'll say, since I learned how to do this, I do it this way more often than in Photoshop because if I'm in the middle of a planner spread and I'm like, oh man, I need some bronze foil washi, but I don't have any, you know, then I can just pop into Procreate, make one up real quick, and then just drop it in and just keep on going. I don't have to get up. I don't have to go to my computer. It works perfectly. So I'll do a quick run through of another color just so you guys can see what it might look like if you did it with a different color. So I'm just going to delete all this, create a new layer, and we'll do like a pink. We'll do a pretty pink one. So I'll take this light pink here, and then I'm going to take this like really dark, dark pink color, go in here to your elements, clouds, brush it over, and then I'm going to go in here to touch ups noise brush brush it over and then I'm going to come up here to my adjustments I'm going to bring up my Gaussian blur to about 15 ish create my new layer go to textures halftone white and paint over and you can see if I do a little bit of a thicker like a harder press then it will give more of an effect of light shining on that area. See that? So then I'm gonna merge these two layers. I'm gonna tap, copy, go back into my GoodNotes app, lasso tool, long press, paste. You see how quick that is? So you can easily make washi on the fly or you can make a stash to keep in like your sticker book. So, yep, that's it guys. That is how I created my foil washi for Procreate. No, that is how I created my foil washi in Procreate for your digital planners. I hope this helps you guys out. If there's any other tips or tricks you guys wanna see, definitely let me know because if I don't know how to do it, you can bet that I will learn how because I like to learn all this stuff for myself and figure out ways that it can be done either easier or more streamlined and then I can share it with you guys. So if there's anything else you guys want to know, just let me know. I'll see you later. Bye.